illegal migrants in Kent have managed to fully damage and destroy an army barracks that were given to them by the government using taxpayers' money as accommodation. It is no longer an exaggeration to say that uh, we truly live in a state of emergency right now in Britannia. Let's talk about what's going on, the latest update we have from Kent. But first things first, while we're at it, happy St. George's Day again, everybody, and you, all your beautiful English men and women and freedom fighters. It is important to uh, mention St. George's Day and at the same time talk about this video because this country is changing and we know it's changing. The values are changing. The culture is changing. And at the same time, we have ungrateful migrants coming here, illegally entering the country, and the, they get all the free accommodation and free food and money and everything else. Somehow they've decided to show how much ungrateful they are. So, the, uh, the Napier barracks in Kent uh, was uh, obviously a controversial topic uh, in Parliament over the last year or so. Uh, even the House of Lords uh, discussed it, and basically this um, barracks uh, was going to be is going to be used and has been been used since 2020 as a temporary accommodation for those uh, illegally entering the country. Now, of course, according to Parliament, it says uh, for those seeking asylum. But considering that uh, we've uh, lost a lot of hotels uh, because the government decided to take over a lot of them in order to give accommodation to migrants, this video that uh, we've uh, discovered it's very important to actually talk about these uh, issues it was uh, made by a youtube channel called new minority uh, definitely uh, check out uh, that channel uh, because they, they've done a number of other videos on this topic new minority let's go to the video uh, of the migrants what they've done uh, in the these uh, barracks this is an absolute disgrace I was in the army cadets in the 80s and we stayed at Napier Barracks at Martin's Plain with no issues whatsoever. The place is old. It, it was built before the 1900s, over 100 years old. Hmm. We looked after it, we cleaned it. The army looked after it, they cleaned it. We had no complaints. We, we stayed at, we actually ate in that, in that food hall for our breakfast, did dinners. The place was spotless. And now these have gone in there and trashed it on, on, our, on our money. We're paying for this. These people are ungrateful, <coughs> horrible people. Now let's go to the video. The window. Steve Laws uh, clearly uh, reported this. Uh, Steve Laws uh, details. details. <laughs> شندين مظاهرة تركراوا حرب جوية نكراوا أما بريطانيا يا برا. Look at the state. أو ريان أما بريطانيا أو أمريكا أنا برجانا أو أنا ليرك دوا أو ناو كم بكيا أو شست خاني كم بكيا ليرك خوارني أنا دابا بنا برجان. What happened? أو أنا أو أنا دار وش قرن دا. Oh look at the food on the floor. كابينا كان بردا. The mess. Oh, look at the And now there's fire. Where are the women and children, guys? Yeah, we didn't have much in the 80s, man, growing up. We didn't get handouts. 
we didn't have all the luxuries in life that they, that they have nowadays. And these people are coming over here and being ungrateful like that. It's not on. So, um, huge credit to New Minority and Steve Laws, uh, one of the great uh, independent uh, reporters on this issue uh, across Kent, uh, who's been very good at uh, obviously keeping us up to date with everything else going on when it comes to the border crisis and the migrant crisis in the country. And make sure to share this video. We're going to come back. We have more updates for you guys throughout the day, every half an hour. I'm Maya TC, and we are the media.